Hi, I'm Vince, and this is Jessica, and we work at Swivel. Today, we're going to be talking about how to use the Swivel robots. We're going to be covering robot basics, and we'll show you how to set up your robot for recording video in the classroom and for live streaming. I'm going to show you how to connect your Swivel robot. Before you begin, download the Teams by Swivel app onto your mobile device. To check your mobile device compatibility, go to the Swivel Help Center. Today I'm going to be connecting my Swivel robot to an iPad. The first thing you'll do is find the appropriate connection cable for your mobile device. If you're using a mobile device with a Type-C port, choose the black cable. I'm going to use the Lightning cable with my iPad today. I'll start by connecting one end of the cable to the back of the robot. Next, I'll place my iPad in the grip and connect the cable to the side. To turn on the robot, I'm going to press on the power button and hold for about one second. The robot will start to tilt up and down, and I'll have a notification from the Teams app that the app would like to communicate with the robot. Always click Allow. This will launch the Teams app. Right now, I have a green light next to the power button because my iPad is successfully connected to the robot base. But next, I need to turn on the marker. The marker is what the robot will use to track you in the classroom, and it's also your microphone. To turn on the marker, you'll press the power button on the side. Hold it for about one second, and you'll notice some lights flashing. As soon as the marker is successfully connected to the robot base, you will see two solid green lights on the side of the marker, and you'll see two solid green lights on the top of the swivel robot. Next, I'm going to wear the marker. Put the marker on and adjust the neck lanyard so that the marker is at about heart height. To turn on the tracking feature, I'm going to press the center button one time. This allows the robot to track me as I move around the classroom. When I'm ready for the robot to stop tracking me, I press the center button once and the robot pauses. Let's talk about charging your swivel robot. If your robot base and markers are fully charged, they will last for up to six hours. Make sure that you use a charging routine according to your schedule. Let's begin. I'll start by connecting my barrel charging cable to the USB charging block. One end of the cable will fit into the charging block. Make sure that you use the port on the left hand side for the most efficient charge. The other end of the cable will fit into the swivel robot base. Now let's talk about charging markers. One marker will charge while being docked in the robot base. If your robot came with additional markers, you will also receive the marker charging cable. Simply plug the marker, the markers onto either side of the charging cable and connect this to your charging block. If you have a CX robot and it is plugged in, it will also charge your mobile device. We're going to talk about marker tracking and placement. The first thing to keep in mind is how you wear your marker. Adjust your neck lanyard so that the marker is at about chest level. The reason you want to do this is because you want to have a clean line of sight between your marker and the infrared sensor on the front of the swivel robots. Next, in order to enable tracking, you must push the center button on your marker. When I want to pause the tracking, I push the center button one more time to pause tracking. You'll get a notification on the robot that tracking is off. If you would like to try manual tracking, make sure that you pause the tracking. You can now use the directional pad on the front of the swivel marker to control the movement of the robot. Once it starts, you have 360 degrees of movement, it will stop once you let go of the button.
Let's talk about markers. The Swivel CX robot can handle up to five markers. Currently, I have two markers here and I have one charging in the back of the robot. The first marker that you turn on with your Swivel CX robot will become your primary marker. You'll get two flashing lights indicating that it's connecting to your robot. Once it's connected, you'll get a notification on your app as well as two green lights on the side of your marker. You will also have a white LED light on the front of your primary marker. Any other marker that you turn on with your swivel robot after your primary marker will be your secondary markers. Once you turn on your secondary marker, you'll notice the same flashing lights while it's connecting. You'll also have an indication that the marker is connected. Another way you can tell that this is your secondary marker is that it only has one green light as opposed to the two green lights on your primary marker. You'll also have a different color of LED light on the front. Let's talk about recording with your Sobo robot. From the home screen, tap the record icon. This will open the capture screen. To start a recording, I can either press the red record button on the screen or click the red button on the side of my marker. This will start recording. When I'm finished with my recording, I'll tap the red button again and it will open a thumbnail screen where I can edit the title of the video or lightly trim the video. When I've completed my edits, I will click the done at the top right hand corner. Since I'm logged into my Teams by Swivel account, this video will automatically upload to my library. If I have not logged in, the video will be stored on my device. I'm going to show you how to set up traditional audio for live streaming with your Swivel robot. With traditional audio, only the teacher will be able to hear remote participants through a set of wired earbuds. Before you begin, make sure that you have two solid green lights showing on the top of your robot. That means that you're successfully connected and ready to begin. From the Teams home screen, tap on the Zoom icon. You will start a new meeting. Once you've gotten into the meeting, Zoom will prompt you to join audio. Select Call Using Internet Audio. Now take a set of wired earbuds and plug them into the side of the primary marker. This is how you'll hear remote participants. Wear only the right earbud to hear your remote participants. If you'd like to adjust the volume, click on the up and down directional arrows on your marker. If you would like to record your Zoom session, use the Zoom interface.